Good morning. It is Monday. I'm not feeling it today, not feeling the vibes. I'll tell you that I slept in late. I was supposed to get up, but I ended up going to bed super late, like 3 a.m. So that's good. So now I put myself in kind of a slump. But I need to get up and get my day started. 9.35 in the morning. Today I don't have anything too crazy to do. But the first goal is to get to the gym. And I'm dragging. <laughs> to be quite honest with you. Um, but I need to get up. But right now, like, it's leg day. And I'm seeing my big booty. I've seen my... I'm seeing the big booty I can have that's pushing me. I haven't been running lately in the gym. Well, just like the last week, I kind of was doing a little bit. I think I ran a mile once or twice, but a sprint and I need to get back running again. It's going to be hotter soon, so I'm excited to start running outside. But yeah, I just honestly don't even feel like doing this. I have a pillow. I look down. My aunt gave me this pillow that has affirmations on it. First one says, that I look down, it says, you got this. So I'm about to get up and start the day. Um, but I'm just show y'all what my day looks like when I really don't feel like it. Um, we all have those days, but you just have to keep pushing yourself. So let's get this day started. And even though I started off late, I'm still gonna make the best out of it. I did wake up to 415 subscribers shout out to my new subscribers if y'all are here ready to get out of your lazy girl era I don't know if y'all in the bed but I am I'm gonna give myself it's 938 945 let me up <laughs> I need to not sit down anymore because if I continue to sit down, I am going to lay down. So I need to do some skin stuff and get ready for the gym. So. Mm. And that's why I need to get back in the gym. I need to poop some stuff. <laughs> TMI, but I don't think I eat the best this weekend. Come on. I say I don't think, but I know I didn't eat the best this weekend. So I'm not even worried about that number. Just give me a little bit of black seeds. I'll be back there and I'll be back to 161 real time. I know. I March 31st, that's the girl gotta say 155. I don't care if it's a point something, but if you can say 155, that's my goal. Mm. Go water was supposed to really reset me, wake me up. It didn't do that. Moisturizers. Y'all got any good moisturizer recommendations? Help a sister out. Because I'm not feeling this. I heard a lady saying Ulta, like your moisturizer is supposed to leave your skin a little glowy. Like, look very smooth and moisturized. And I'm guessing it's because it's a lightweight. I don't know. <laughs> also, I'm putting on sunscreen. Because as you can see, it's sunny. One thing I did do, which I'm happy about, is I laid my gym clothes out the night before. It's always good for me to do this, um, just so I'm eliminating time to 
in the morning because I like to look cute when I go to the gym. This one I picked out. There's some running shorts and a sports bra. Both of these are from Plato's Closet. Key tip, get your athletic gear from Plato's Closet. They have endless and endless, especially for the ladies. It's a little spotty with the guys, but I mean, I'm getting sports bras. They got Gymshark, AYBL, like everything. Um, and these shorts like eight dollars sports bra like eight dollars range from eight to ten depending on the name endless 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 nike things i'm just wondering why these people gave it up but i'm about to throw that fit on because it's leg day i'm starting to get a little bit more energy i'm thinking maybe the face wash the little morning routine did work will wake me up it's a slump yesterday was a, yesterday was march 10th we springed we spring forward i said forward and i went back around okay we spring forward my equilibrium stone off a little bit now i may be on a bit of a larger side when it comes to source for us but i have been buying mediums because i'm convinced I'm, my boobs is gonna go down so gym fit this is like this works for us good y'all and i actually love these shorts for the gym i need something light on my stomach Never anything too heavy because then I feel like I'm going to throw up during my workout. So I eat breakfast when I come back or I eat whatever time it is. I'm going to eat. It is now 10.15. We're going to try to get out of here by 10.45. I should be able to do it way sooner. So that my Stanley with some water and some black seeds. Need some fiber in my body. If you know, you know. As much as I want to blame it on an hour, I think it's me. I think I'm just moving slow. Anyway, I've had this stuff in the back seat of my car. All this stuff in the back seat of my car. It's just little random miscellaneous. Uh, that, it's just a lot of stuff. But this week I'm taking it out. I'm waiting. To, listen, when it's hot outside, my car is way cleaner. I do not want to stand outside in the cold to clean my car. I just don't want to do it. But when it warms up oh yeah just wait on it clean this whole thing up on my way to the gym i need to listen to some hype music because it's leg day and i'm a no pre-workout shawty can't do it it makes me itch so i have to get hype off my own fuel you know what i'm saying <laughs> I made it to the gym. What y'all didn't see is that I forgot my headphones, so I had to go back home. Once I got back in my car, I sitting in front of my house that I needed my car because I was about to get my nails done after this. So I had to go back. All right, so I'm about to get this leg day in, this little glue pump in. I don't feel like working out, but I'm gonna go. I feel like working out. I want to work out. I want to get my body right. I'm going to Costa Rica in, couple, in two months. I need to get this booty fat, this skinny, this skinny, this tummy flaps. I can't talk. But we're going to do this. We're going to go to the gym. We're going to have a great workout. And I'm not going to let what I'm feeling get in the way. <sighs> Even though it's trying real bad. It's trying real bad. Okay, so for some reason, I thought y'all would be able to hear me in the gym like the headphones can pick up my voice when people can barely hear me on the phone but anyway here i am at the gym probably four or five workouts in looking at the watch ready to go um but i am proud of myself that i made it but like i said i didn't want to go but i did it and i definitely did not run but that's okay because i still showed up for myself okay very it. bye i'm back home from the gym Got my nails done. I did like a French tip, which is cute. It's new. I feel like it's classy. I like it. I like it. And now I'm eating a bowl of French onion soup that my mom made because I really don't have no lunch food and no protein for a salad. So I was like, I'll just do this soup that's been in the fridge. So I need to start putting myself out there um with this content and i don't know how to explain it but for me instagram feels like real life like i feel like it's so much easier for me to post stuff on tiktok because that's sort of like what's the word not lazy but like lasa 
I want to say lackadaisical. Like, it's a word, but I can't figure out how to say it. TikTok is more like lazy. I can come on there, just look at the camera and say what I got to say. Um, but Instagram, it feels like got to be cute. Got to be, this is where the bad, the bad stuff goes. The bad, the baddie photos, the, all that type of content. I don't know why. I have the most followers on Instagram and I'm just like, I don't know what kind of people I can connect with or hit with um, or who I'm missing out on if I don't put myself, if I don't put myself out there. Oh my, I didn't hurt them. Like, put myself out there on YouTube and I'm getting subscribers left and right. Which is making me happy, by the way. Shout out to my new subscribers if I hadn't already said that. But, but yeah, I need to put myself out there. So I'm going to challenge myself. If you're watching this video, follow me on my Instagram. I'm going to challenge myself that I will have a DJ video up this week. Oh, I said out loud. Now I really have to do it. Ugh, anxiety. And who knows? I'll probably get really good feedback from posting a video. I'm putting myself out there. A lot of people I, I feel like that follow me are supportive. I feel like. <laughs> oh. Too, too much to do today. I just have to schedule some posts so my life is easier throughout the week. Um, I need more clients. You want to know why? Because I need more money. <laughs> so. Clients or give me some DJ gigs. I mean, whatever. Or monetize my channel. Whatever one wants to fall in line, I'll be happy with them all. It's freaking 2.08 and I feel like I should have got way more done in the day. But I also got to remind myself the day's not over. I can still make the day great. <laughs> Even though what I want to do right now is getting this comfy bed. Yeah. I want to take a nap, a good nap. I told myself I was gonna do two workouts today. I've been following Grow With Joe. I don't know if y'all have heard of her, but she has like the at-home workouts. Grow With Joe helped me to lose like 10 pounds. Well, probably like five to eight. But I was in my cardio bag for a little bit, straight cardio, I was at home sweating. Oh I mean, yeah, I need to get some work done. So let me try and do this and then hop back on here and talk to y'all a little bit later. A few moments later. I took a nap. This hour spring forward is beating my behind. I just feel so tired. I have a hard time getting stuff done. But I'm, I'm close. I'm gonna get this work done. It's 5.14. Probably get this done. Six o'clock. So I'm about to do a Grow With Joe workout. This is my girl, Grow With Joe. At home for workout two of the day. I'm gonna challenge myself to do two workouts a week. I honestly really needed a nap. <laughs> because now I'm like, okay, I feel so much better. That losing an hour, it really messed me up. But it's okay. I have a couple more things to go. DJing, social media posts, only three posts for my business. And then two slides for um, this event I'm speaking at. But I'm about to do this quick little workout. 20 minute or so I can go get my food. I'm trying to decide between sushi or Chipotle. I don't know. But I'm rewarding myself for still getting stuff done. Let's get it. My boyfriend said it's like I'm somebody's mom. So I'm doing it here. Okay, y'all, so I finished my workout. Forgot I had a meeting at 7 o'clock, but it did get moved to 8 o'clock, 7.54. About to hop on that. I was planning on getting sushi or Chipotle, and I guess this is the God, God's way of making the decision for me because all the sushi places close at like 9 or 10 o'clock, so depending on how long this meeting is, that is going to determine what I get. Hello. You see, I am. Hey, Angel. Meat is done. 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 Chocolate. Chocolate. Mm, almost well. I'm going to Chipotle. <laughs> if you don't know, I'm going to tell you, I've been looking forward to Chipotle for a long, long, long time, honey. Chipotle, nigga, was she hot? She the type that if you get it, you can brag. She did whatever she wants. She get that new save around. I can put that one on her arm. And I can get the rest of what the charm.
Bag secure. Now I really, 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 really want to take a bite right now because I'm super hooper hungry. But discipline child. I like to do little things like these because I feel like it improves my discipline. Like, oh, I won't eat anything until I get home, or I can't check my social media until I do this. Just teaching my body, like, girl, don't do something. You gotta be disciplined. Okay guys, I'm back home. I'm about to warm up this Chipotle bowl. So I want it real hot. Let me tell you what I got in it. Flipping it over because that's what I think that somebody say on TikTok. You got the aluminum foil side. Rice, lettuce, drop a queso. A drop. Which she gave to me for free. Probably because it was a drop. Um, drop a queso, lettuce, rice. What, what did I not say? Steak and chicken. Half and half. Half and half, honey beans sour cream and i'm gonna get i have guac at home so i'm like i'm not paying y'all extra money for guac when i got guac in the fridge and i have more cheese so i'm not paying you to give me extra cheese and i got more cheese in the fridge so yeah i'm gonna let it sit in there for a good five minutes and i'm going to pound town what you talking about i've been waiting on this all day y'all the chipotle was busting so the night's pretty much a wrap for me. I was gonna do something else, but I didn't realize how late it was. Um, I didn't get everything that done that I wanted to. Today was like really just one of my lazy days, um, and I was having a hard time getting myself out. I really think it was just because it was spring forward um, on Sunday, and we lost the hour. That's why I was so tired because I usually do not take naps. But I'm gonna close this video out. Um, last thing I do is just my night routine which I'm not gonna show on camera because I'm gonna have more of a detailed video on my page of basically like how I prepare myself for the next day so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I know it was a lot of chit chat but I feel like I was able to really show y'all me going through it the tiredness and all of that so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe as we continue on our journey of getting out of our lazy girl era and becoming a better version of ourselves and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye